Hi everybody, Carla. <laughs> Why can't I just say my name? Hi everybody, Carla O'Neill here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit different from my channel. I've decided to do a behind the scenes footage of how I get ready for a video. So I hope you enjoy it. I had a lot of fun making it. It was something different anyways and I think I'd like to do more stuff like this for my channel. So if you'd like to see more content like this, let me know in the comments and I hope you enjoy the video. First things first. Makeup. A fun fact about my videos is that there have been many videos where I'm wearing pajamas. Like I'm currently wearing pajamas right now, and I'll just have a nice top on, and underneath I'll secretly be wearing pajamas. So that is a little secret um, because nobody sees. So you may as well be comfortable. my makeup is done I'm gonna go on and do my hair and um, gonna keep it straight today um, and then makeup wise it will be quite like heavier or darker than I usually would wear out and about just because um, when you're on the camera it doesn't pick it up as well so yeah I go a little bit heavier I won't usually wear eyeliner that much anymore so I'm gonna actually blow dry my hair and um, straighten it so yeah <laughs> like my little up style there okay so hair and makeup is done so that's like the big part of the way over with added some jewelry I even put jeans on just for you and now it's just getting the room organized I had it a little bit organized already because I was doing my makeup over here so I'll usually clear everything on the floor here and it'll go on to the bed which I will not show you because it is a site so I won't try that so just to quickly show you the equipment I use I've got my MacBook and then I also have then this lead this one here and that goes straight into my microphone which is a blue Yeti condenser microphone so that's USB connected and um, I've used this one now for probably I've had this for five years or more so yeah it's still going strong and then I have my mic not my mic stand my camera stand and yeah and then the other thing then is just my ring light and then this here is my ring light that I just have over in the corner and that stand then is adjustable for height but that is the perfect height for me where it is there and then I'm just going to choose a track just an audio track here you can see the mouse just this one here I'm going to create that and then depending on whether I am playing just a guitar, I'll just have one track and I'll just have my voice and my guitar on the one track. Or if I'm having a backing track, I will then add another track. So then the next bit I just showed was, I just took up my frequency a little bit here. And um, I took it up to about 7,600 Hertz just to give it a bit more clarity. And then down around the mid range, I took it out a little bit down to 2150 hertz just because I feel just taking that bit out gives me a better sound I don't sound as like nasally it takes out just a bit of that mid frequency that can make you sound a bit nasally and kind of a tinny sound okay, so that was just a bit more of the technical side of things and just how I set up so I use GarageBand I'll just set up a track and I will probably add some reverb because I like to have reverb on when I sing um, and then as you can see I just changed my EQ to just suit my voice and especially it changes as well depending on the microphone that you have each mic will pick up like different frequencies some might be bassier some might be more trebly so you just have to see your mic and like fine tune it to your mic, your voice. So after years of using this mic and my voice, um, that's the basic EQ that I will do for my 
myself by just saying and I put in my earphones I need to get better headphones um, but I just connect it up I'll try and hide them by like putting them behind but I do sing lives what I will do at the end when I edit and you'll see is I actually take the sound from the microphone and that it's gone through garage band and then I'll put them together and then I'll take out the sound of the video so I do sing live so I keep doing a take until I'm happy with the take that could be one take it could be ten depending if the song is new so this is what it actually looks like when I'm trying to get the focus I'll zoom in I'll like try and mark that point and I'll try and just focus it in between like the plant and the microphone and hopefully that shall do I'm gonna actually step back and, oh not there I'm over here <laughs> So hopefully this will be like the area I'm kind of going to be standing at. I'll go back and stand there again. And then I'll go back and then I'll check that. But I think that should be around. Okay. And then this bit involves making sure that everything is looking in place. Quick check. Um, and now, also, don't mind these strings that are fling on the top here. I have a meaning to cut them but I've got nothing to cut them with. Yes, yeah, so obviously I need to go and get something to cut them with. So if you see that in my last few videos, I'm sorry because they also annoy me too. I've done a quick sound check already just to make sure that the distance was okay for picking up my vocals and the guitar. I'll have my microphone a bit like closer to the range of my vocals because the guitar is pretty loud anyways. It's going to pick up and I've done it in a way that it'll be a good balance between the So I'm just going to press record. Um, so I'll just stand back, kind of at the right distance, just double check into the camera to make sure that it's recording because there's nothing worse than you thinking you're recording. So yeah. <laughs> started that so I'm gonna try it again see what I mean it can be like when you go to record it can be perfectly fine beforehand but you just end up thinking about it and wanting it to be perfect <laughs> yes played the guitar at the wrong point all right we'll go again right so we got the what am I doing with my hands right so we got the final um recording done. It took about four takes. Uh, the first two takes I just kind of stopped after the intro. I was like nope didn't sing that right. Um, then I did one full take and that was um, at a different key and then for the final take I decided to take it up um, a step just because I was like you know what I feel like I can sing higher with this song. Now next step that I have to do is get the just do like a quick um, mix on the track. I don't do too much of it. I'll just pretty much like add a bit of compression for any peaks. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'll add some reverb just to give it a bigger sound and that is pretty much all the effects. I'll add just reverb Um, I can show you the difference in what it sounds with and without reverb. Okay so just to quickly show this is what it sounds like without any reverb. You're breaking me la 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 you're breaking me, la 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 This is Reaper Bond. And I'm just right here dancing around to the rhythm The rhythm that you play when you're breaking my heart So it just makes it sound as if it's you're in like a bigger room. Alright, so that's everything edited now and I've saved the track. I just have to now get the track matched up to the video and make sure that it's blending in properly and then take off the audio from the video where I'm singing. Call me what you wanna, I'll be what you wanna. I've been here a thousand times. Eh, eh, falling for another. I don't even bother. I could do it all my life. So tell me if you wanna, cause I got this feeling. I wanna hear you say it, cause I can't believe
You're breaking me, la 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 la, la 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 la. You're breaking me, la 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 la, la 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 la. And I'm just right here dancing around to the rhythm, the rhythm that you play when you're breaking my heart. You know that I can't get you out of my system. You're right from the start. You play with my heart, and now we're singing la 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 la, la 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 la. You're breaking me, la 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 la. You're breaking me, la 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 la. You're breaking me, la 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 la. And I'm just right here dancing around to the rhythm, the rhythm that you play when you're breaking my heart. You know that I can't get you out of my system. You're right from the start. That is it done. So now it's at the stage of the video where I have to put everything back in order in my room and plants like these need to go back to their actual homes which is not in my room so I took this plant in today from the living room. Uh, usually I might have like flowers up here or something, it just changes. Uh, but yeah, I need to, I won't show you the bed but yeah there's a lot of stuff on the bed that now will have to go back in place. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the first of its kind that I've done on my channel. So if you do like this type of content, let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and share if you can. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.